they saw their fate they saw their fate this is someone's confirmation somebody was asking god god these people that have been bothering me been attacking me don't they know what's in store for them don't they know you know what's going to happen if they keep doing what they're doing like god showed them they know they know i heard i heard a confirmation from god yesterday and he said they all know listen god is very merciful god is not going to place a wrath upon someone without letting them know why a wrath is being placed upon them god is going to show people you know what i mean if these people have gifts and they're using it the wrong way or if they're going to people who have gifts and that are using the gifts the wrong way god is going to either show the people they're going to who can see what's in store for them if they do what they're doing or continue doing what they're doing or god is going to show the person that is paying them or the person that's doing it themselves to you okay god has shown every single one of your enemies that has plotted against you that has done spell work on you that has tried to block you god has showed every single one of them what their faith is what their fate is not faith what their fate is what's in store for them if they continue a lot of them back down a lot of them back down when they saw they may have gotten the warning the first time and may have you know brushed it under the rug may have thought it was not serious may have thought it was just something that they're just dreaming about or something that they're maybe their their fear is projecting that into a dream you get what i'm saying but no god likes to confirm things for people when god confirms things he's going to confirm it in threes okay sometimes he may give you reoccurring dreams in in fives and sixes and sevens and he may just continue giving that reoccurring dream that reoccurring warning consistently how many times have you you guys done something and god said and you may have said to yourself mm, am i wrong for doing this no i don't know if i'm wrong for doing this you know what you'll try to brush it under the rug and then god comes through again with another confirmation telling you no you need to stop doing this like you know what i mean it's that same concept god has given them so many confirmations to the point where they can't even ignore it they know they those that are up against you they all know what their fate is they know what's in store for them god has shown them what their punishment is god has shown them the sicknesses that are going to take over their body if they don't leave you alone god has shown them their life falling apart if they don't leave you alone god has shown them some of them have backed down because of that because they they can no longer disregard the dreams they can no longer ignore what god is saying to them so some of them yes they back down but just because they back down does not mean you're not going to bump into to, into new enemies new levels new devils you know where some way may back down and the fight has been the battle has been won in that sense and they've been defeated you may bump into new enemies who think they can take you on who don't know any better because they don't know your they don't know your anointing or they don't know to what extent your anointing is at like what the rank the type of ranking you have in the spiritual realm they may not know to that extent but they're going to learn their lesson like everybody else did you see what i'm saying and then there's those who have that narcissistic personality disorder who's battling a mental illness who no matter what god says to them they continue to still do it and they don't even care some of them it's kind of like the way how they're thinking is okay well i'm gonna get sick anyways or this is gonna happen to me anyways or you get what i'm saying so i might as well do it listen it's just sad that some people feel like stopping you blocking you is way more important than their own life that just shows they don't even value themselves you get what i'm saying they don't even value their own life therefore if they don't value their own life there's no way they're gonna value yours you see what i'm saying so that's why that that mental illness consistently pushes them the lord not the lord sorry the devil pushes them to continue doing what they're doing and guess what sometimes god does harden their heart look what god did to pharaoh you get what I'm saying? God still had to harden Pharaoh's heart. Because why? Because God, gave, listen, God gives us all free will. And God knows that if, okay, if I give my child or if I give this child free will and they choose to do ill ill will with it because, yes, God can have a child. There can be a child of God who is choosing to do evil. Like, look at what happened to Saul. God had to put a whole, God had to put a whole spirit on Saul. You get what I'm saying? But it's not that here's some some people are gonna say well why would god put a spirit on saul if god if, if saul was god's child and you know saul wanted god wanted saul to stop doing evil why would god put a spirit on saul because god gives our god gives everybody free will so god knows things before it happens if god sees okay two weeks from now you're still going to continue trying to hurt that person or two weeks from now you're still going to be doing this, this this negativity i'm gonna put the spirit on you or i'm gonna harden your heart because whether i harden your heart or not whether I put a spirit on you or not, you would have still went and did evil. God knows that. God knows if man is going to change. God, half The reason why most of you guys, God called you is because God knows. 
God saw. God said, okay, if I call this child, are they going to change their life? That's why a lot of people, they look at you and they're like, why would God choose you? You used to be this. You used to do that. You used to do that. But God can see ahead. God knows that, okay, if I call this child, he, he or she is going to change. Look what happened to Paul. Paul was beheading Christians. And guess what? Paul got saved. And you get what I'm saying? So God knows if you're going to continue to be that person or if you're actually going to change. And most of the times God can see that our enemies are not going to change, which is why he does have a role to play sometimes in hardening their hearts and why he sometimes does put spirits upon people because he knows they're not going to change through their free will. So these individuals that are attacking you and they continue to attack you, God knows they're not going to change. And some of them saw their, not some of them, all of them saw their fate. And like I said, some of them backed down because they know. And the others who choose not to back down, well, they just accepted their fate. That's all it is. Okay, this is your confirmation for whoever asked this question to God about, you know, God, don't don't you show our enemies what, what's going to happen to them? Why do they continue to do it? This is your confirmation. Okay, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.